Hey everybody, David Jordan. Thank you for watching. I was teaching a class in Camden, Tennessee on an active shooter, and one of the participants was Jacob Beach. And we were talking about a few things, and Jacob started talking about a sling that he has developed, a two-point rifle sling. And so that's why we're here today to talk about that. So uh, this is Jacob, and Jacob, tell us uh, a little bit about your background. First of all, you're a, you're a veteran. Yeah, so I did four and a half years in the military. I deployed to Logar Province, Afghanistan, with the 173rd Airborne. Uh, more recently, I was in the 101st. And, uh, well, you know, uh, while out and deployed, I wasn't happy with some of my gear, 100%. And uh, I started looking around at what I could change. So how that ended up is I ended up buying a multi-cam uh, one-point sling. I really didn't like uh, buying or wearing anything that was ACU. And uh, it didn't quite work out for me. Um, you know, it was just a little too loose for me and it didn't do me much good. And it had a lifetime warranty. It was really expensive, but it ended up breaking. And so instead of getting a replacement, I ended up throwing it away and kind of playing with uh, other designs that uh, I could use in theater there. Um, fast forward a little bit, I got out of the military, I was working on a farm, uh, I got 80 bucks together, bought some nylon webbing, some paracord, and uh, started doing prototypes and, and perfecting my design. Okay. So. Yeah, nice. Um, so I've seen this thing, it, it's built tough. Uh, tell us, show us uh, uh, what it does. Well, the, the sling is unique because I use a mid-clavicular adjustment system here, and it is, gives me the ability to transition very quickly from wearing the rifle on my back to having the rifle low ready or in a firing position, and also back the opposite way. So no matter how I want to wear this rifle in whatever situation I am, be it tactical or hunting or just on the range, it's very easy and comfortable to do so. So, uh, you know, that's, that, was, that was my number one goal, uh, you know, is to have that adjustability and to make it very simple. Okay, yeah, that's, that's fast stuff. Um, you, you make these, uh, these are 100% custom made, is that right? Yeah, um, you know. Oh, handmade, I'm sorry. Yeah, handmade. I, I do mostly custom orders, although I do have in stock a few slings uh, when I can catch up to, uh, to the orders that I have. But... Uh, yeah, I make all of these. I do all of the weaving. Um, you know, right now I'm I'm working on a sewing machine that my grandmother gave me. You know, just Perfect. starting from the bottom. Been doing this about two years though, hitting the gun gun show circuit real hard and getting them out there. Um, the materials. What type of materials are you using? Everything that I use is made in America and is mill spec. Uh, adjustment at either end is metal. Uh, the center buckle is a glass reinforced nylon. It's actually the exact same manufacturer and model of sling used on the Army rucksack. Okay. Um, it has a breaking strength of 250 pounds, Cordura nylon is 1,000 pounds, and obviously paracord is 550 pounds. Okay, great. Right. Uh, and that's the adjustability in the front. What adjustability does it have on the ends? Well, uh, obviously there's a lot of different firearms and a lot of different people. Uh, to make it a modular sling, I have 8 inches of adjustability on the front and 12 inches of adjustability on the back. And the adjustment through the center is 24 inches. So it will fit a very wide range of people as well as firearms. Okay, and you said uh, you could get like different colors and... Oh yeah, like you know I'm trying to expand the colors that I have all the time. You know, right now I've got lots of cryptic stuff, I've got multi-cam, and I've got your standard camouflage colors as well, black, OD green, and then lots of colors of paracord as well. Uh, everything from tactical colors to fluorescent colors, and I also have four different colors of buckles, desert tan, black, OD green, and marpat coyote tan. Right. Now, uh, the big question, where, if I want one of these, where do I have to go? Well, I ha uh, you can go to my website, thepreppersbunker.net, or you can find me on Facebook at facebook.com slash thepreppersbunker. Okay. And uh, about the Preppers Bunker, um, Jacob is, uh, does survival stuff as well, so uh, I encourage you to, you, you got your own channel? Yeah, uh, the Preppers Bunker Outdoors uh, do a lot of survival stuff, uh, spend a lot of time not eating. Uh, you know, so yeah, that's, uh, I need to I need to spend more time prepping. <laughs> so uh, 
Yeah, uh, I also, I distribute Nepalese knives from the Gurkhas. If you're familiar with uh, Nepal, Nep Nepalese soldiers and Gurkha soldiers in specific, they use what's called a kukri. And so uh, I, I fell in love with those knives, started using them out in the bush and started talking to the owner of the company. He liked me. He came from Nepal to visit me on Thanksgiving. I took him out to the range to shoot some guns. He thought that was cool and asked me to if I wanted to sell his products and, uh, and represent him. So that's what I do now. I've got those on the website and uh, they're all handmade without electricity, oh, which wow. is incredible. That's awesome. All right, so um, you guys check those out. The links will be below and uh, uh, so they'll be easy to follow. Jacob, thank you very much for taking an opportunity to, to visit with us. Um, anything else? Oh, that's it. Just thanks for having me. It's been an absolute blessing to, uh, to be here. All right, great. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this helps. I'll see you next time.